Hi, I'm Ryan Nickel, CTO at DSA Ocean, and today we're going to talk about setting up a simple tow scenario in Proteus DS. We're going to work straight with Proteus DS Simulation Toolbox. So the first thing we need to do is create our tow line. So we're going to create a cable to do that. And you can leave it the name as, as default, or you can call it tow line if you want. Okay, so we've got our cable in place. And in the visualizer, you can see there's a little default, a short line lying uh, horizontally flat. I'm going to turn on the water surface in the visualizer, as I liked, to keep that visual reference for it there. Okay, the first thing we need to do is give it some, give it some length. So I'm going to go to state. And, I'm, and instead of just 10 meters, I'm going to make it 100 meters long, just to give it something. And you can set the delta, it makes a bit of a catenary here, uh, from reference. Node 0 is the red side, node n is the blue side. So we're going to say delta x, say, about 80 meters away. And then give it a bit of depth at the, in, the, in the z. And again, we've set the total cable geometry length to be 100. And then we apply the material properties. I'm just going to leave the default material properties for now. Um, we have to set the total and assign the total amount of element length. So we can just click resolve and then it'll do it really quickly. It just says you need to make sure you have 100 meters lined up here. Maybe a few more elements than just two. We'll go apply. You can see we've got just a, a starting scenario for our tow. And we need to have some kind of tow body on the end. Otherwise, it's just going to going to fly straight out because uh, this the default material properties are, are neutrally buoyant. So what the easiest way to do this is with a, an X mass. It's just a point mass, really, uh, extra mass. It's got a diameter and a buoyancy and wet weight and drag properties. So I'm going to insert this X mass. If you remember, you can just you can just type dollar sign and start typing X mass. Once you get used to the inputs, that's pretty quick. Uh, we don't have this in the library yet. Uh, this X mass. I'm going to change this name to tow body just to make it easier to find my library. So if I right click on this and go to feature definition, what it's not in the library. I have it started with a blank project, so it's going to ask me when I click on this to create it. So we'll create. Now I can specify the diameter and density. There's a few other ways of specifying it. There's a drag and add mass coefficients here. Uh, this is neutrally buoyant, so I want to make it just, you know, just a little bit heavier, um, about 2,500, something, something heavier uh, to give it some, some weight and pull it, pull the end of the line down. So first, we're going to uh, set up a, the simplest way to do this. Oops, uh, we should have this at the end. So this is at node zero, we'll go 100. So it's the arc length all the way at the other end, and what we're going to do is set up, uh, we're just going to fix the top node here, and then we're, we're not actually going to tow it around, but we'll turn on a current. So this is kind of a simple way to do a simple tow where it stays put, but you get the sort of same relative drag on the system. It's kind of nice because you can see it in one spot, um, and it's just for an initial analysis. So we've got to go back to the environment tab in the tree here. Um, and what we want to do is set a current profile. So we want to go uniform current profile. You might want to play with custom current profile. It's really up to you. And if we go to resolve follower properties, it fills out the other information you need. I'm going to leave heading as zero and we'll just say two meters per second. Uh, what this will mean is that the current is flowing with a heading of zero means that it's going in line with the north direction, the, the global X frame direction. So it's going to be, the current's going to be moving this way. Okay, we've got a default of 60 second simulation, so I'm going to save this and we're going to call this simple tow. Go OK and then run. So it goes pretty quick because it's very a very simple scenario. And what we're going to do is load this up in post PDS when it's finished. Just take a second here. Okay, so post PDS to visualize the results. I'll just go OK with all the default settings. Okay, so I've got this on perspective view at the moment. And sometimes it's a little hard to see uh, the cable because it's, um, 
it's it's trying to render it as a realistic diameter. It's pretty fine. Um, if we play back the video, you see the water surface moving. That's just kind of giving you a sense of what the current velocity is like. Um, the node is fixed here. It's not really moving. Um, and if we switch over to engineering view, it's a little bit easier to see the line. And you can see just that there's a bit of transience and it's settling to um, a sort of constant profile there based on the prop, the weight of the line and the drag on the line and the weight of the, the properties and the, the tow body and stuff. So this is kind of nice because it doesn't go anywhere, uh, but sometimes you want it to drive forward and I'm going to show you how to do that now also. So we're going to go reset and start uh, over here. We'll go back to the tow line. Uh, so what we need to do is we're going to set the top node, we're going to turn off the current profile first set this to zero, and handy if you go resolve follower properties it'll comment out the current. So we turned off the current profile. We want the, the node, we want to do a simple tow with a node actually moving. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to turn off the node static flag. We're going to introduce a new property here. Boundary constraints node zero kinematic. And what this means is when it's kinematic on it's going to ignore any forces and hold the velocity value specified at the start constant. So how do we do that? Um, well, first I just want to remind you about the cable state. If we go look at the manual under help manual cable in the cable section you'll see state and then it says the state of the cable is defined by the node positions and velocities and the form of the file is in this section here so you can see in the state section we've got node 0 velocity then node 0 position, node 0 y velocity and position in terms of the global frame so with that in mind what we're going to do is we're going to directly specify an x global frame velocity for the node and then that will hold constant and actually tow the, the line through the water. It's just a different way of doing things. Um, you could you could edit the dat file directly uh, but I'm going to show you another way to do this using the old style cable segment generator. Uh, go to resolve follower properties. Uh, in the old style cable generator you directly specify the, the material properties. Um, if there's only one it uses it for the whole cable length so we're just going to leave that here. We go to state and in the old style state generator there's an option for custom and we can just edit the, the file directly here. So uh, remember the first value is the x velocity and since that node 0 is kinematic it'll hold this constant through the simulation. I'm going to pick minus 2 for this, and I pick minus 2, go generate, and save. Um, I believe we're ready to go. Uh, I'm picking minus 2 while that's running. I'm picking minus 2 because in terms of the global frame, I want the top node to go this way. And so it's going to move this way uh, in sort of the same relative toe scenario as we, we looked at previously when we'd fixed it, and then let the current kind of create that relative velocity. So let's take a look. Post PDS. Just go OK here. And there's our tool line. Let's go to engineering view. And actually if we go to orthographic view, it's nice, it's a nice way to get sort of a nice 2D side view of it. So we'll look from the east and we should see the cable slowly moving along there. So you can see the toe it's moving with a velocity and at the same time the toe body's falling. So it's just going to take a bit to get to that steady state. So we'll just pause it and, and then it's you know it's driving along through the water with two meters per second. So there's two ways to set up a very basic toe scenario and of course you can set a lot of the details that you want but I just wanted to show uh, two different ways of, of getting that scenario set up um, uh, uh, in Proteus DS Simulation Toolbox. Thanks for watching.